Welcome back, crafty friends. Uh, my library had a, their book sale today, so I got to go and I found a bunch of stuff. So I'm coming on to share with you guys. First of all, they had a stack of these Molly Makes magazines for free. So I picked three out. They had artist papers in them. I flipped through real quick. Found some with ones that I like. There's templates in here. The 90s edit. Scrunchies and headbands are back. Oh, look at this. Friendship. I love that. The artist, I really like the artist papers in this one. Except, so, I like this one, but look at the back. This is so annoying. How are they just going to stick that, right? I mean, you know what I mean? If you're putting artist papers in here for us to use, don't ruin them by sticking exclusive papers right on it. Because that's printed on it, so. So that was just a little annoying. Like, come on now. Look at that. So these are fun. This one's got a cute little fox on it. Foxes always make me think of Karamia. I got this one for this image right here. This image just really struck me and I had to have it. There's some great images in this one. More templates. This one, the papers are um, to make this little gingerbread village. These are cool. I must have missed some. There were some other really nice images in here that I liked. I must have flipped past the others already. So cute. Mr. Fox and Mr. Badger. It is a badger. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Super cute. And here's this one. So this one's got papers from other places, like uh, countries. So we've got Tokyo, or cities, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, and Lisbon. It'd be really cool if I found places to trade people, friends to trade within these places for my around the world journal, huh? So I haven't really got a chance to look through these. I just flipped through them. But they look like something fun to uh, be able to. That is cool. That's a ring. I like that. Oh, I love that. So much fun. Love those, especially for free. I got this the source. I don't know, I was just drawn to the beautiful green and gold cover. It's not old or anything. I don't think. There's no date in here, so. Roger's thesaurus. Then I, oh wow, yeah, that's right. I have nine books that I got for reading. All nine of those books were 25 cents a piece. This thesaurus was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. A new cultural atlas of China. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. My brother's dog, Dexter's here. Y'all know how he is. So he can hear me making noise with these books and talking to y'all. 
There's just nothing I can do about it. Oh, look at those horses. I love horses. I love riding. Oh, wow. That's striking. Beautiful fireworks. Look at these beautiful images, man. These are so pretty. I love all of this. This will be so fun to use. Look at that. Oh, you guys can't see the light shining on it. Oh, the, um, what was that? 100 man, 1,000 man army made out of clay. I did a whole report on them. Underground army. Yeah, these were so interesting to learn about. Very interesting. You guys should uh, look that up some days. Lots of really neat stuff. Super excited about this find to use in my next Asian journal. Then have a couple Indian ones. Well, the Alhambra. Wonders of Man. Look at that. That's gorgeous. These are smaller black and white images, but I still uh, really liked them. Only problem is, is they are across. It was so packed, I didn't have time to stop and really look like. I just quickly would flip through and say, yep, I want it. <laughs> Let's see. I love these ones with the designs like that. There's a lot of black and white, some color. So some definitely cool images in here to use. Look at that. I love that. Oh yeah, this is nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Love it. I'm trying to go fast, I don't want to bore you guys. I could sit here and look at these all day. Next is the Taj Mahal. One of my favorite structures. Look at this. This is an embroidered piece of fabric. Another Wonders of Man book. These are the only two that they had, and they were ones that I loved. That's so nice. Yeah. These are great images. I love these paintings. This is awesome. Love it. And then let's see. 
grab this stack and put it up here. So, so yeah. Um, my, me and my best friend love Golden Girls. And as you can see, I got these DVDs for a dollar. Look how many are in here. I don't even know. One, two, three, four. So, 21 discs for a dollar. Now, these were library DVDs. I don't know what kind of shape they're in, but I mean for a dollar. Why not try? Everything's falling over here. So that was great. And again, like I said, I have nine books that I plan on reading. And give me one second here, guys. I just totally dropped one and it went behind my chair. Sorry about that. Okay. So we got this garden almanac. Is that? Yeah, this is the good one. So there's photos in here and like illustrations. Man, that book is about to fall again. <laughs> So we have a mixture of photos and illustrations in here, which I like. I tend to like the illustrations better than photos, but this has lots of great stuff in here. This was 20, uh, 50 cents. And this was 25 cents. This is a crafting book in an Asian language. I don't know how to tell the difference, um, but there it's about carving your own stamps, which is something that all of us have done. So I just thought it was super cool. Not only is it an Asian book, um, it's an Asian crafting book for 25 cents. Oh, I didn't even see these. Our own designs that we can use to make our own stamps. So let's look at all of these. Sorry, paper's really thin and it's hard to get separate it. Here we go. It's the next one. Too bad we can't tell what these characters mean. And I mean, these, I'll just cut out and use these to glue on to something, you know. Oh, what fun. So here they're showing you. The steps to carve your own stamp. I love it. And like with the owl. Oh, this is Merry Christmas. I think that's the only thing in English in this entire book. I totally, oh, here we go, Happy New Year. What fun is this? I love it. Seriously, this is a great book. And then here we have more instructions. The steps to carve your own stamps. And we have more images that we can cut out, more images to copy. Love it. What an awesome book. And oh, look at this, guys. It is so cool. So I totally didn't even see this book. Then all of a sudden there's this loud bang. This book fell off the top shelf behind the shelves and all the way down, landed and tumbled through the bottom shelf and landed at my feet. 
I look down and it's a book of owls. One of my favorite things. I'm like, now, if this book did not just jump off the shelf and throw itself at me, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> So, obviously, this book was coming home with me. It says, Owls, our most charming bird. This was 50 cents. The inside cover's got feathers. Aww. I love these more cutesy drawings like this. Instead of like the, you know how the vintage owls look kind of scary and mean? <laughs> I love these more cutesy ones. Oh, look at her. Oops, sorry. There you go. Oh, I love these. And it tells you about them, too. And it's written in a funny way. Okay, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but Varro's Eagle Owl. All right, Cheeky, who are you batting those lashes at? <laughs> As owls go, the Rose is up there with the biggest and heaviest. But you can see uh, there's a lot of comedy in here. Oh my gosh, these guys are so freaking cute. And I just can't get over the fact that this book just literally threw itself at me. There's some pages torn out here. Who knows, but I love this book and I'm so happy that it threw itself at me. It was meant to come home with me. And next we have Butterflies and Moths. This was 25 cents as well. These pages have a little bit more shine to them, but I'm okay with that. Tons and tons of butterflies and moths to cut out or use whole pages as pages in a journal. Love it. Look at this cutie. It's so tiny. This was printed in 1960. It's an English-Japanese dictionary. And it says the 1960 edition. It once had gold gilding on the edges. It's still there some, but coming off a lot. And it's got the th little thin pages. Some pages are torn. Bento. I love the paper bento boxes by Sora Sun. I'm so sad that this is the page that's torn. <laughs> but I think it's been drawn on, but that's okay. So yeah, you can... see what it looks like. I just love these little pages. I thought they were cute and fun. And again, that was 25 cents. Next, I got this Piano Duets The Whole World Plays. This originally sold for $1.25. And um, you can see it's falling apart, so I'm not going to feel bad taking it apart and using it. Whole World Music Series. This was originally, somebody sold this for $12. I got it for $0.25. Cents. You can see the color on this page. To the music lover. Um, this is a printed in 1920. And you can see the patina on these pages is just something else. Pretty amazing. So I will be sharing this with everybody. Pages already coming out, which is 
fine with me. That makes me feel better about tearing up an old book. It is hard for me. My grandma and my mom are music, I mean, book lovers. And yeah, I get these amazing old books and like, don't you dare to cut that up. And then we have this one. And just to get it up close, if you guys can see the embossing in this cover, I love this cover and I want to use it and find a way, you know, maybe with some gold gilding to just bring out the embossing. I don't know what language this is. Maybe one of you will recognize it and share. But this book um, has belonged to Ebenezer Evans. Looks like it says um, something lake in Wisconsin. Look at the stuff on these pages. Here's E. Evans again. Something Lake. And it was signed 1866. And this was printed in 1851. Oh, sorry. Did I have it too close? Was it focused? And then here you can see the 1851. Isn't that amazing? And look at these pages. Guys, this book was 50 cents. Just saying. And I do not know the language. So I'm super curious to know if you guys no, please share. Like, this is Common Cold. Is this a medical book? Suspended Animation. Inflammation of the Kidneys. Oh my goodness, guys, this is some sort of medical book. How cool. So interesting. Yeah, please share. If you guys know, I would love to know. So, overall, I got 22 books plus a set of Golden Girls DVDs with 21 DVDs. All for the price of, let's see, because I bought my mom, my mom got a stack of books a foot tall too. Um, total with my mom's stack of books was $13. Mine are probably just $9 or so, I don't know. So, super excited about this. These are probably the most special finds as far as how old they are. This one is pretty old too. But 1800s, mid 1800s, not even late. That's an amazing book, and I want to use this cover. And then the owl book throwing itself at me. That was so cool. The Asian crafting book was amazing. Um, I'm super excited with this haul and I hope you guys enjoyed looking at it all with me. I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.